Rock Bottom Coins is the number one place to get your Madden coins. If you make coins for my videos, sell them to Rock Bottom. If you're buying, use my code GUTBOX for 10% off. Hey, Rocks here. So, a lot of things to go over in today's Market Monday. It's been kind of insanity. I still got a few presents to open since it was so hard to open them yesterday. I may or may not have missed the greatest freaking, uh, I don't know, one of the greatest. I, it'd be tough to mathematically figure out. I'd say one of the greatest because it didn't happen to like the whole community. It opened up, only happened to people that had the audible packs. I missed the greatest like glitch uh, in packs history. Um, I We got some uh, market crash talk about TVPs, content schedule, new bundle. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and break down what we missed yesterday since, you know, I've always said abandon family abandon friends abandon religion in order to succeed at mutt because uh mid to late day yesterday you know five ish eastern I, I think around there for like an hour or hour and a half or so these presents you know how they're labeled wrong and like you pull a presents like it says i have um i don't know 33 large oh, that's actually right they might have fixed them back by now actually anyways i think they are fixed but Basically, what happened is they, you know, all the presents were switched around as far as quantities, and that's what happened. So, like, say, uh, the fact that I had, like, 73 medium presents, this was actually labeled, like, you know, uh, lovely largest or whatever the biggest one is. And so, when you open it, they switched it back, and they were actually giving you, like, 93 pluses out of them. And so, now they're back to, like, 85 pluses, and, and it, it sucks, right? It sucks, because some people were there, made literally 20, 40 million coins off that like you know momentary glitch uh but like it was all glitched yesterday as you guys saw in the videos uh market ended up rising on high cards because people got a lot of coins from low cards like the, the market absolutely took a dump okay the market dumped and people bought training or they had their presence and they were able to convert over to coins to the tvp right quick sell everything tvp it quick sell that get your coins and then they bought the top end of the market yo hopefully you guys watched that video yesterday people were playing outrageous prices prices are still up on the top end cards which uh, of course brings a lot of profit profitability in sets we'll talk about that in a little bit but um we missed that glitch and we're sad about it okay um so so it is what it is uh i'll talk i'll talk about the market here in a second with that i want to talk about the content schedule that's it right zero chill three and four this week i'm guessing tuesday thursday uh, that makes the most sense to separate the limiteds from each other and it's obviously not out today um they've always done uh, uh, thursday for content also so next few days we should see quite a bit of uh zero chilling so the sets right if you guys see the cards on the block they're very high uh priced here and with new like you know new stuff coming out so if you take go ahead and take a look at uh, zero chills and the sets that make them you can go ahead and take a look at trying to snipe now here's the downside we might be going up to a 96 so i don't know if i necessarily want to pre-build cards like i would traditionally because we're right about that time period where you know this this might be the week where we go to 96 right uh, if you look at legends right legends have been a pretty decent um uh, uh, indicator for when we go to the next overall uh you see how we went like you know 94s were kind of the the odd ones but like 93s Do you see that was one two three four five six and 92 is one two three four five six and then it keeps doing that it, like basically the whole year did that a pattern up until 94s okay 94s we only had four of them so it's only two weeks for 94s but one two three four five six ninety five so it depends I, I foresee us raising overalls here to 96 for zero chills three or four you know if not i, I will be a little surprised so pre-building stuff as far as um the the, the zero chill part three and four be wary um uh, they could change the sets up i would imagine the set is just gonna go up like stocking stuffers wise um stocking stuffers right now as far so maybe like five stocking stuffers it might be an, even a 94 ghost or something too 137 i see that one filtered down might be not a bad idea to snipe a couple of those but again again there's that there's that issue we don't know what's actually uh, on the way here uh be, with with, with uh, the new sets potentially so that's a little bit of a risky investment i think it's just smarter to use your coins to make coins on the market we'll talk about that here in a second but that's what's coming on zero chill part three and four tuesday thursday we'll be live on twitch when that stuff goes live if it's going live i wish they'd give us more of an indication of like what time it's going live I'll, i guess I'll, I'll guess i'll be live tomorrow morning and hope it's hope it's there on twitch i don't know 
anyways let's talk about the market crash that also took over yesterday hopefully you guys were able to be involved in it the problem is servers are down for so many people i had to go back i had to like re, i had to download the ps4 version of madden 23 just to get on the game and, and pull some presents get in the market and stuff you guys saw that video yesterday about me listing cards super high i was selling 92s for like outrageous prices like 140 and stuff but anyways it's not a bad idea to look at training right 92s at 130 um that's like just under six ratio but like if you look at the actual ratios across the board you generally don't want to be buying the high-end cards right you want to be buying low-end cards and obviously you want to snipe 87s don't just buy at the unfiltered prices which i always show on the and on the, this spreadsheet this is a this is a sell sheet uh these are the unfiltered prices so you generally if you look at these prices you want to filter you filter and find them under those prices but the good thing is you could do it now i do believe uh, you guys can let me know if i'm wrong here but I do believe the TVP got nerfed a little. It, it, look, it looked from when I first saw the TVP tomorrow morning, or yesterday morning, tomorrow morning, I'm, I'm in the past. We're going. Where we are going, we won't need roads, Marty. There we go. I, uh, uh, dog, I'm terrible. Uh, anyways, there's a nice 1980s reference. Anyways, with this said, right? With this said, it's not a, still a bad idea. I, I kind of want to see updated odds for the TVP if 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 uh, Herky is going to roll it at all with all of his training that he's got. Um, not a bad idea to go ahead and snipe really cheap cards. You can roll it over into coins. But even so, I, I would actually suggest maybe looking at doing sets because a lot of these high-end cards absolutely skyrocketed, right? Like So if you just look, um, I kind of want to do, let's actually, let's actually get out of this filter. Let's just do the, wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Newest sets. I want to take a look at, okay, well, that, that filter's broken. I should have known that already. For some reason, it does work on the days they come out. Ghost of Mutts are really high, like outrageously high. So it's not a bad idea. I know I know. I just looked at the, some of the cards and stuff, Ghost of Mutts. Some of them can be profitable. The problem is the 94s are kind of expensive, but 94 overall to make a 95 might be profitable. Uh, if you find the right price, Ghost of Mutt right here um 92 overall ghost of mutts what are these at so these things are at 110 and then these things are at like 130 it's not a bad idea just to kind of like go through sets and find out cards that are worth it i, I what, what does that go for 130 260 plus 110 370 i think these ghost of mutts are like 400k so that's not a profitable set either um unless you roll it up to potentially 95s but not a bad idea since some cards are so cheap what about what about Ghost of Future? Are these things even close to profitable too? 90 overall, zero chill players. 55k. Yikes, dude. 55, 110 plus 85s are 110. Yeah, I, I don't even think it's profitable. 9k plus a pot or 9k and under. Though that's obviously filtered poorly, but huh? Yeah, I, it just it sucks when the, the sets are so poor for us that it's hard to find profitable sets in the Ghost of Mutt. Uh, because the, the the economist kind of screwed us with those set costs so maybe not so much there but maybe look to snipe those cards tomorrow if that is your chill part three since those cards we've listed really 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 low all right but other, otherwise because because like the mid cards are so low you can maybe look to other cards and other sets right other uh other set uh, what are other big sets that could potentially go for a bit um but most feared potentially eh, i don't know about most feared maybe um all madden cards might be profitable i'm not i don't think blitz blitz cards were like training yesterday those were actually great filters for um uh, maybe take a look at legend sets since those things you know the top end legend cards like skyrocketed in value harvest as always has been a solid one throughout so something to look through i'm not going to go ahead and do the math myself because if i find a profitable set it basically goes away if i broadcast it all right let's keep talking about stuff in the game so they brought in the super bowl mvp bundle I hate it, right? This is, is this the first $150 bundle in Mutt's existence? They might have gone over $100 before, but uh, I'm not going to buy this. Oh, okay, I can't buy it anyways because I got to open all my presents first. But what we're looking at here, 99 overall, 97 overall. And like, I just, I, 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 I don't like the fact that it's so expensive. Like if this is $100, I'd be like, all right. But I don't like, they're kind of like pushing our boundaries with this one, right? Like, you still, a lot of people buy this, they're going to start doing the, doing this more, right? They're kind of like testing us as a community, how much you willing to spend in one purchase. So, it is what it is. Go ahead and buy it. It's your money. Do what you want. I, I, I guess I don't care that much. But I, uh, well, we'll see. I'll probably end up opening a lot of my presents and I'll have the opportunity to buy it. I won't though. 
Uh, we'll just get to the Super Bowl when we get there. So and, and get that get that MVP when it comes out. Since it generally mins out, right? The, the Super Bowl MVP eh, depends on how good the card is. Depends on who wins the MVP, I guess. If it if it does, All Pro Star Fantasy Pack, we got that one. So that's kind of like the, the the bundles in the store that are new today. We'll get more tomorrow for Zero Chill. They might give us some more step packs. Um, I know a lot of people are angry after yesterday's mess up with servers and just the the, the promo in general and people getting the wrong presents. They're angry they brought out like a new most expensive bundle ever the day after. Um, it seems like EA is really not paying attention to, you know, kind of PR and everything. Not, not a great look for them. So, yeah, market looks to be a little recovered from yesterday. Obviously, yesterday was straight madness. It doesn't mean you can't still buy cheap, cheap, cheap training and roll TVP for straight profit. But I 100% feel the TVP got nerfed like I talked about. Um, uh, Yeah, that's kind of what I want to talk about with Market Monday. So... Hopefully, we got everything we wanted to get to and how to make coins. Is there anything I'm forgetting? Training, TVPs. With, with, here's the thing. is like, was Zero Chill so high? Has anybody rolled? Like, maybe you could just like... Uh, the, the problem is this pack is so bad. This pack is like brutally bad, right? Like 4,500, but like 85% of them are going to be 85s. So that might not even be worth it. I, like the, the ninety plus zero chill player. That one, that one didn't treat me too well either. Let's see if it treats me well today. Let's see if I can get a ghost, because ninety five is so crazy. Ninety four, ninety five is so crazy expensive. Hey, please ninety four, ninety five. Barely, barely broke even with that one. Um, yeah, it might be, might be worth the arbitrage to this. Now that I think about it, could you buy training? Yeah, I, I guess you could buy training at like four being filtered because there's so many things still clogging up the block um and then roll the 90s so ten thousand training so that would cost so even if you do roll a 90 at a twenty thousand training twenty thousand training at four per is 80k and even if you get the minimum at 60k eh, i don't know that take a lot of math and i don't know the exact stats of this 90 plus zero chill roll like this is i'm gonna pull an 85 right and it's gonna happen quite often okay i got another 92 we're doing pretty well for ourselves. I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. Nah, send it again. Send it again. One more time. One more time. Send me to the moon. We're profiting until we lose. Whoa! Come on, 94, 95. Ah! Need it more. Need it more. All right, 20K. So far, we're up. We've got three Ws in a row. Let's go for four. Come on, big money, big... Ah, oh, we lost. All right. That's it. Market Monday. Coins, coins, coins. Cheap trading. I think the cheap training with with whatever limits we get tomorrow will kind of start to evaporate though. So get it today while we got it. Um, since we just still do, don't we still have a couple limiteds in, in packs from yesterday's Tom Brady and Carmichael? Um, that's it. I'll stop rambling. Bye.